you may ask, well, you know, how did you come up with this smart way? It, BI Consulting Group has a number of consultants who have been in this space for a long time. We've been around BI for many, many years, and we've all been through uh, report convert or reporting tool conversions, upgrades, etc., moving from one platform to another. Um, and we have a number of folks who have been in OBIE for a long time, and a number of folks who have been in Hyperion BI for a long time. And so we've kind of taken you know, our collective knowledge and figured out, well, what is really the best way to move from one platform to another? Hi, I'm Kevin McGinley with BI Consulting Group, the Vice President of Technology, and today we talked about how to migrate from interactive reporting slash Brio to OBIE the smart way. What is going to be the, the best way, the, the most appropriate way for you to migrate your IR platform over to the OBIE platform? Um, and we're going to talk about why you'd want to do that and then uh, BI Consulting Group's smart way to actually make that happen. To start off with, let's talk about why you would want to migrate to OBIE. Um, you may have had Brio slash interactive reporting for a long time, and you may think, well, why, why would I even want to migrate to Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition? So the f we're going to talk about three different reasons why you'd want to do that. So the first reason is um, from an enterprise perspective. OBIE was designed to be an enterprise reporting tool from the ground up, and while Hyperion Interactive Reporting had ambitions to be an enterprise reporting tool. The reality is that it never quite succeeded in that manner because of the fact that when you design reports in interactive reporting, everything has its own unique model. Each BQI, each report has its own model. And if you want to reuse that model multiple times, you have to rebuild it each time you build a, a new report or a new BQI file. The second reason is from an EPM perspective, enterprise performance management. The worlds of BI and EPM are merging together, and you would not, it would be foolish of you to be going down a path of enterprise BI and not also considering the path of enterprise performance management, because these two technologies are coming together, and Oracle is leading the charge and bringing them together. And so when you look at uh, Oracle's stack, they are really positioning OBIEE in this monitor and analyze phase of the, the planning cycle, or the EPM cycle, and it's not interactive reporting anymore. The, in, the, in the Hyperion days, before Oracle bought a Hyperion, interactive reporting would sit in this space. Today, that's not the case. Oracle's positioning OBIE in this area, and all their future functionality is really gonna be delivered using OBIE as part of this whole EPM planning process. Which kind of leads to the next reason why you would want to migrate to OBIE, and that's because it's Oracle's strategic direction. Uh, Oracle has published many times a path where their Siebel acquisition, which is the, the basis of OBIE, is converging with their Hyperion acquisition, which is all the Hyperion EPM and interactive reporting BI components. Those are all coming together, and you know we're right on the horizon now where we can start to see where OBIE 11G is going to be coming, finally. Um, and they're already starting to talk about Hyperion Enterprise 11.1.2. We have 11.1.1. whatever out right now. Um, once these two versions are out, Oracle's next focus is bringing them together into one consolidated platform. So with that in mind, we kind of have a three-step process, or a three-phase process. Uh, the three phases are translate, consolidate, and proliferate. The first thing that we're going to do is come in and, and analyze your environment. And, and by that I mean we need to take a look at you know, all the IR reports, all the BQIs that you have out there, and start to categorize them, not just from the standpoint of you know, what's happening within the BQI, but also how the end users are using them. That translation utility is a, a little you know, Windows application. It's going to be available as a free download. And it's basically, if you provide it with a OBIE metadata layer, the physical component of the OBIE metadata, it can then generate the rest of the OBIE metadata required to produce those reports. And then it will also automatically build the reports themselves. However, the translation utility can't do everything. So there's still going to be some manual build that needs to happen going from one tool to the other. And part of this process in the translate is figuring out 
what exactly you know the, that subset of IR reports are, and then you know from a scoping standpoint, figuring out when do you want to move those reports into your your new OBIE environment. So after then, we we sort of finish our translate stage. We want to then move on to the consolidate stage, and in the consolidate stage, this is really all about addressing both your, your logical models as well as your physical models. Because of the nature of interactive reporting and the styles of reports, or the way that you build many, 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 many models and, and reports off those models, you may wind up with many, many, many business models within the OBIE metadata layer, which is not necessarily a best practice because it can be very hard to maintain over time. So when we talk about consolidation on the logical sense, we may look at our business models and say, well, you know, it really makes sense if, if we've got a, an orders report and a shipments report that came from a BQI file, they both use the, the customer dimension and, and we have a, an order table and a shipment table, we might want to consolidate that, and this is a very simplistic example. We might want to consolidate that into a business model where we only have the customer dimension at one time and that way we can maintain the customer dimension in one plate. The other area that you might want to do some consolidation is on the physical side because interactive reporting may be pointed in your organization at many, 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 many different databases. Maybe you have a data warehouse, maybe you don't. And if you don't, it might make sense during the con this consolidation phase because we're talking about rolling OBIE out to you know, hundreds, if, if not thousands of users to consolidate all these databases uh, that you know, might be just little local reporting databases that you have lying around into a data warehouse. Now this is you know, not necessarily a requirement of the consolidation phase, but from BICG's perspective, we'd want to look at that during this stage to figure out, is this something that you know, your organization can benefit from? So when we get to the proliferate stage, we need to kind of back up a little bit and, and understand how we got there. When we did the translate stage, the translation utility is really you know, pretty much done just by a small subset of users. And, and it's not even really users, but developers. And it may be just one developer for all you know, for all we know. That developer is going to translate the, the set of BQI reports that we feed into the translation utility, and then they're going to validate them, make sure that the numbers match from one system to the other. When we get to the consolidate phase, what we're really suggesting here is that we get a pilot team together of you know users that we know are going to be strong evangelists for moving to from IR to OBIE, and what they're going to do is they're going to start to consume the reports that we built in the, the translation phase because we want to understand, okay, now that we've got these reports over into OBIE, does it make sense for these reports to exist the way that we do? We're going to have you know, potentially hundreds, if not thousands, of reports out in OBIE now. Do we need all these reports? Are they laid out the best way possible for, for enterprise consumption? So it's really this pilot team and, and probably some developers as well who are going to you know, be taking a look at those reports but they're also going to be taking a look at uh, you know, how can we then take these reports that we have and create dashboards that really take advantage of OBIE's dashboarding functionality to create enterprise perspective dashboards. And this is where I was saying before that the translation utility doesn't bring over dashboards from your BQY files and that's actually a good thing because you're going to want to rethink these dashboards from an enterprise perspective leveraging the capabilities that OBIE offers from a dashboarding perspective. From there then, we get to the proliferate stage where we can actually roll these out to the, the full end user community and they can start consuming all of these dashboards that the pilot team has identified as being you know, good best practice enterprise dashboards that we can use throughout our organization. Today we talked about how to migrate from interactive reporting slash Brio to OBIE the smart way using a, a three-step process uh, proposed by BI Consulting Group that allows you to leverage the upcoming translation utility that Oracle's going to be providing to quickly get your reports, your BQI files, into OBIE, and then using uh, BICG's best practices to apply to your, your metadata and your dashboards to produce an enterprise uh, version of all the information that you report on within interactive reporting to have a, a, an enterprise reporting tool like OBIE.